Jay? Yo, what's good, Jay? I'm trying to get my body right. Can you help me out, bro? Yeah, yeah. I bet. I eat good, but I don't see no progress. Hey, bro. Let, hey, let me just say it like this, man. Look. What's up? Bread and water, bro. Huh? Bread and water. That That's all you need, bro. Damn. No cup. Yeah, I, hey, bro, I'm telling you, for those three years, G, like, like, I promise, bro, it's just bread and water. Hey, bread everything that got bread in it, bro, water. you got to eat it. Hey, even the water, bro, you got to drink every brand of water, mm -hmm. man. The Dasani, the Deer Park, the Aquafina, Aquafina, man, even the generic brands of water, bro. Like, you got to drink all that, man. man. But then when it gets to the bread again, like, you can't be stingy, G. Like, you got to get the loaves of bread. You got to get the honey buns. And you even got to get the little pieces of bread they be giving you at communion, bro. Damn. Yeah, you gotta stack them junk. I gotta bro, call my pastor. You gonna get swole, bro. Hey, I'm just telling you from experience, man. You uh -huh. can't put the water first, yo. You can't put the water first. You gotta put the bread first so and then put bread the water. Cause water. you can't get the bread hey, let me and down. then put it behind the water. Hey. It's gonna be too much. Hey, it's gonna be down, too G. much, bro. Hey, no. Jay. No. What? Nah, nah, nah. Big cat. What you mean, bro? Hey. Hey, bro, you still here? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Jay, back again with another video on Ask You Fitness, where you can ask me about fitness for you. And today, real quick, man, I'm gonna be reviewing three supplements that I use in this in this in my workout routine. I use more. I use maybe like five or six, but it's not an everyday thing. So I'm gonna just show y'all three real quick. First and foremost. Man, I use supplements to help my workout, help my recovery, and help my energy. Now, when I use subs, I don't use it for strength, I don't use it for muscles, I don't use it for, you know, I don't use it for the wrong reasons. All the ones that I use are all natural supplements. You know what I'm saying? It's either gonna be caffeine, creatine, or uh, L-glutamine, right? So, basically, I'm gonna show y'all the products that I use, that I've been using for the past couple years that's helped me out indefinitely. And I can tell when I'm on it and when I'm not, but let's get into it, baby. All right, so the first one is gonna be L-glutamine. I don't know if y'all can, can see that. L-glutamine is kind of a glare. But anyways, L-glutamine, um, L-glutamine powder. And it's made by Body Fortress, right? So that's the company that makes it, Body Fortress, and it's called glutamine. Now, with this, with this product right here, I'm gonna tell y'all that your recovery is gonna be a lot faster. I'm not gonna get all scientific on y'all cause I ain't no scientist, but <laughs> man, this right here, you take it before your workout and after your workout, your muscles are gonna recover faster. You're gonna get that, that recovery a lot faster. See me, a lot of times I hit a hard gym session. I might be there for an hour and a half, two and a half hours. But when I do that back to back, you get what I'm saying? Like my muscles need that recovery because I won't be able to do as many reps or I won't be able to do, you know, a certain amount of reps or sets with that weight. So with glutamine, this helps your recovery. You take it before and after your workout. And um, yeah, like the next day, I, I would still be a little bit sore, but it won't be anything like, you know, not taking it. I don't take this all the time. I've been trying it out for about a month and a half. Pause. Now I know in the beginning of this video, I said I was on these supplements for about one to three years. I forgot. I started this one about a month ago. Still a good product. But let's get back to it. But really, really good. Really, really good product. And I think it costs like $15, $10 at Walmart. But yeah, real good product. All right, so the next one I'm going to review to y'all is Lit AF. All right. Um, this, this product right here, man, this is my magic box right here, man. Like, I'm going to tell y'all this. It has a lot of caffeine in it. Now, if you don't want that high pump while you working out, you don't want to have that extra boost of energy, this is no need for you, all right? If you ain't willing to hit the gym hard, G, this, this ain't it for you. But this right here, man, this is like taking like three cups of coffee before your workout. I got this at GNC and it costs $45, but it lasts you like, it lasts me like a month, month and a half, and I take it um, in a six week period because when your body gets used to the to the caffeine You're gonna get like a super boost of energy for a while till your body get used to the energy And then you like dang now you're taking it and you know you don't feel it no more So I take it six weeks on six weeks off 
you know, so my body can recover and make its own energy. When you're not on it, you're regaining your your body's natural method of uh, you gaining that energy. And when you are on it, you get that extra boost. But this is just my personal experience. I can do a little bit more. I can hit a few more reps in my set. I can superset. I can, you know, just overall put in a lot more work than what I would be doing if I didn't take this product. And this is a uh, Lit AF. Now, if this is your first time trying Lit, um, I recommend you taking just the basic lit. Now, like I said, you can find this at GNC, right? But the normal generic kind isn't uh, AF, it's just lit, right? Because it has less milligrams of caffeine, basically. But uh, yeah, lit AF, like 45, 45, maybe $50. Really effective though, really effective. All right, and the last stuff I'm gonna show y'all is creatine yes i'm on creatine that bread and water stuff it works it gets you swole in a more natural way but this creatine man this creatine is some is some real stuff right here now originally when i started working out i didn't use this brand this is amplified creatine 189 by gnc right the label is really really shiny so you probably not gonna be able to read it but i'll put it on the screen for y'all but anyways it's amplified creatine 189 by gnc right I think this costs like $40. Now with this being said, creatine has been my best friend, bro, ever since I started working out. This was the first supplement I've ever taken when I started working out. Now, this is a pill form, right? Because it has more dosage than what I used to take with the powder creatine. Unfortunately, I don't have the individual container on what I used to use, but it's a generic creatine powder. And I think that one costs like $20 or $15 at GNC. Pause. This is the generic brand of creatine I use at GNC. Costs about $15, $20, just in case you were interested. Let's proceed. The purpose of creatine is to use your, your, your water supply that you intake every day. It supplies it towards the muscles that you're working out. So you're gonna get a more swole look. You're gonna get a more buff look. Hence, bread and water. This is like a sponge to water in your body. So you're gonna, if you're working out frequently, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna look and appear more swole faster, basically. Like I said, the bread and water method. But this is like a sponge for the water. You gotta drink a lot of water with this. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you can become dehydrated, it's just not good for you, and it's not good for your kidneys. Now, all in all, do your own research on creatine, please. If, you, if you're not confident in taking creatine, do your own research in creatine. I did my own. Plus I went to my physician and he's told me, you know, what creatine does to the body. My physician, bro, he's the one who told me he take creatine. You get what I'm saying? So how bad could it be? If you use this product in a responsible way, you're gonna be straight, man. You're gonna be straight. Like me, I think my minimum on water intake is supposed to be maybe five or six bottles a day. So I drink twice that amount, you know, just to make sure I'm straight. Now I do take a break. I do do a six month on, six month off because I don't want my body to go ahead and get used to it. And then when I get off of it, it's like, boom, it just depletes and I'm just like, I lose my progress. So I go six months on, six months off just to, you know, recoup from it and everything. But all in all, man, creatine, great product. I've been using it since I started working out and it's given me nothing but benefits. And as a matter of fact, when I first started taking creatine, man, like the first two weeks after I started taking it, I could feel a difference in my arms. I was really working heavy on my arms. I was doing curls and stuff, right? I could feel my arms, like it just felt like it was getting heavier. But creatine don't make you build muscle out of nowhere. You're gonna have to put in that work. Like you're gonna have to put in that work. You can't just take it. It's not a magical pill and you're gonna get powers, G. Like you gotta actually put in that work. And then that's when you start getting gains and you start seeing that you actually, you know, getting and looking more buff. So that's the three supplements right there that I'm gonna show y'all in this video. I'm gonna make another video that's gonna show other natural supplements that I use, but I just wanted to get it clear with y'all, man. I do use subs, but not for the wrong reasons. I do recommend that you use it if you're trying to expand in your, phys in your physical physique, because at a certain level, man, you're gonna have to start using subs because the food and the bread and water method, that's, it's gonna go to a certain point. Now I'm not saying bro, like you take steroids and stuff like that, that's crazy. You got veins popping all out your, your head and your eyes and your, your fingers and stuff. Nah, I ain't trying to look like that. At a certain point, man, use it. Like use it, but use it responsibly. You know what I'm saying? Because it definitely helps, it definitely helps. And basically that's it, man. Like 
yo, a lot of people try to bash it sometimes, and they like, man, nah, I'm, I'm all natural. Like, all right, G, cool, be all natural, man. That's good. That's good for you. But for me, I'm gonna take natural supplements. Like, it's natural. Like, creatine is found in steak. You know what I'm saying? Caffeine is found in coffee. Also, creatine, like, you have creatine in your body. I forgot what it's called, but I'm gonna put it on the screen for y'all. Pause. The chemical is called creatine. It's a chemical waste product of creatine. Basically, your body's natural way of creating creatine. All right, but anyways, the glutamine, bro, like glutamine is a natural supplement too. So it's not like you taking steroids. Do your research. And don't have people down talking about it because you're like, oh man, you on subs. Nah, G, you still putting in that word like they is. Taking supplements just helps you, helps you get your results faster. That's basically what it is. But that's all I wanted to say in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Holla back at your boy. I'm out.